How do you actually go from that to actually cutting metal and, 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 and designing packaging and actually selling something to the public? So the, um, the hardest part was really just kind of transferring from, uh, you know, designing something in a 3D space for video games that is not something that you have to use in the real world. Right. I uh, got some books and watched some videos about CNC and what those constraints are. And I also took um, my collection of modern razors and I got a digital caliper and I measured all of the critical dimensions. <laughs> yep, look at you know what, what's on the market before you try to reinvent the wheel, right? Yeah, and then I, I put those into a spreadsheet and lined up the columns and I looked at the ones where all of the, the ones were not changed, where they were very close together. Mm -hmm. And then I realized this is something that's kind of set that way for a reason. Right. And then I looked at the one where there was a lot of variance and I said, okay, this is where I have some room to play. And uh, that's how I got my first pass done.